Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about how to trade with three indicators only. We are going to use SMA indicator, Simple Moving Averages, MACD indicator and RSI. Just three indicators. It works for stocks, ETFs, indexes, options, cryptos, for any securities, for any time frames. You can use it. Please subscribe for YouTube channel and click like button to support the channel. I really appreciate it. Let's move to trading view. Trading. If you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup. And now let me show you. Okay, I'm, go I'm going to use simple moving averages. This is the first indicator. Let me minimize. Now we have green line. Uh, am I? Okay. Moving averages 200, white line, yellow line 20, red line 10, and green 5. I'm going to remove 20 and 200 just to simplify it make it simple let me remove it 20 and 200 okay now we have only 5 and 10 green it's a 5 uh, red it's a 10 mark the indicator it has green line it's a bullish red line it's a bearish white line it's a signal line yellow line at a zero line between bullish territory territory and bearish territory you see bullish territory it's a green histogram bearish territory it's a, it's a red histogram and we have one more indicator third ind indicator it's rsi with high Kanachi bars this green high Kanachi bars and red high Kanachi bars yellow line it's a rsi line this red zone it's above the tori uh, plus story it's oversold territory the white line this in the middle it's a zero line the, the green one it's a i'm sorry I, on the top it's over bad territory the red one it's over bad territory that it, it's a it's a territory when we are going to sell sell signal on the bottom it's a minus story it starts from minus story to minus 40. green one it's a oversold territory it's a it's a moment where we can buy. You see the, on top, it's a buy signal over here in this territory. That's all. And Heikonachi, green, bullish, red, bearish. That's all. Very simple. It looks like complicated, but it will be very simple. I will, I will explain it to you now quickly. It's not, it's not rocket science because traders is trying to, they're making the, everything complicated, but in reality, Trading is very simple. It's two directions. Buy and sell, two actions, and two directions, up or down. That's all. It's very simple. Just two things. Buy, sell, up or down. Okay, let's start from here, right? This is the top of the market. First ye yellow circle. First yellow circle on the moving averages. MA5 did bearish crossover over 10. For us, it was first signal market is 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 changing direction from bullish to bearish it's a bearish bearish uh, crossover it's a bearish bearish signal bearish crossover bearish signal and sell signal on the script on the macd indicator on the second indicator right green line change color to red line and and did bearish crossover over signal line second indicator Second yellow circle, right? Third indicator, Heikonachi change color from green to red. It's a bearish signal already, right? At the same time, early signal was early signal was from RSI because RSI was here in overbought territory, but it's, it was early signal. It was similar. I'm sorry. Let me let me stop it here. Stop it. And and this top. Oh, something wrong. I clicked the wrong button. You see the this one. This top and this top, it was aligned. That for us it was first signal. We didn't have bearish crossover yet. We didn't have bearish crossover on MACD, but we had already signal on RSI. It's over bad territory. Market will change direction to bearish. Be ready for it. You can jump in this point, but if you are a professional, you feel good, you can jump. 
but in reality you need to wait for confirmation like to wait for this bar it's like one bar is for now i'm sorry i didn't mention it to you it's a one hour bar one hour bar right one bar it's a one hour you have to wait like three four five hours to get that confirmation after that confirmation it's a fully confirmed bearish trend because you have all three indicators aligned with the bearish confirmation but rsi warned you before it was overbought it in overbought territory that's why you you could start sell your position and get in cash for example i can show it today for you today now look at it now it's the same situation you see this this bar this rsi line the last last yellow circle right on the right side of the, of the picture sorry that i jumped from the beginning to the end it's just similar it's in the red territory it's in on the 34 34 it's overbought territory it means this point can be overbought can be it it can trigger like in a few hours it can trigger the uh, bearish crossover it will do bearish crossover over 10 and it will change direction to bearish that's similar like here right we didn't have we didn't get confirmation on macd yet macd didn't conform still bullish moving averages didn't conform my 5 did, didn't make bearish crossover still bullish but rsi already told us it it's possible that it's overbought territory it can go even higher definitely it can but so far it's overbought territory let's go back let's go to be in beginning okay we have like three indicators we have four full three indicators confirm it's a bearish trend we sold market we just changed direction from the bullish to to bearish direction right to reverse direction for example it's a Qs. we were bullish it was tqq we used tqq 300 percent up we switch from this point we switch direction from tqq to sqq sqq it is short short Qs, 300 percent bearish okay and we hold it we hold it up to this this point right what was what happened at this point it was choppy during that time but yeah magdi was choppy we could sell it here buy it here sell it buy it but to make it simple we have another point right this point buy signal ma5 did already bullish crossover it's a bullish signal before the end bullish signal on magdi right red line changed to green line second indicator bullish trend on two indicators and third indicator Haikanachi changed color from red to green it's a bullish right and rsi moved up what happened we had early signals right when bars was below over here on rsi rsi touched oversold territory that's for us was first signal that it is oversold it can bounce from it right it can bounce from this point similar point was here similar point was here similar point was here right before before buy signal over here it was you see it was the lowest and rsi was the lowest from this point it moved up with we bought bullish trend bullish trend right buy signal buy but of the at this point long direction tqq and hold it up to here up to this february 23rd and to the to this red yeah, to this orange orange circle right on the bottom macd has also bearish crossover on the top ma5 did bearish crossover over 10 one signal macd second signal in this case haikanachi gave us early sig signal it means we have three confirmations right at the same time if we if we can check this top of the market this top of the market compare magdi didn't didn't make bearish crossover yet but rsi was top also this rsi was top place 
RSI gave us gave us kind of early warning signal before MACD and moving averages already confirmed that market change direction. Similar at this point, similar at the end. Look at it here. Buy signal on the moving averages. MA5 did bullish crossover. MACD from red to green it changed color, right? Bullish crossover. Same on the, on, the, on the Haikanachi, red color changed to green color, bullish crossover. But early before, right, similar story, right? Let me show you, similar story. From this point, it was the lowest point, the lowest point. And at the same time, it was the lo lowest point, it touched uh, oversold territory. This yellow circle on the, on the RSI, it touched it touched a uh, yellow territory right touched yellow territory and now it's again in the bullish bullish here bullish here we'll see is it going i believe it will go it will do bullish crossover let me if i do extended hours it's a regular hours if i do extended hours it's already changing direction right it's changing direction we'll see we'll see we'll see what will happen during the regular hours that's how it works let me uh, show you briefly about setup i didn't show you before yeah magdi you can change colors it's a just default default i didn't change any numbers it's a default numbers and colors you can customize uh high Kanachi with rsi i did customization you have to uh, yeah opens yeah open smooth should be five you have to follow yeah customization that's what i did for my site i also use this this one this option i just remove it because it's it's too much too many lines it works also very very well but i just reduce the picture just reduce the number of lines on the make it less complicated like i said the, Traders like to make complicated trading, but in reality, it is very simple. The most complicated part, it's uh, emotional and discipline. At this point, we have to buy loan, buy signal. Traders, they do not trust it because they listen media and listen told, no, 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 don't buy. Don't buy. It's, it's going to be crazy. You don't have to listen media. You have to follow the chart. Chart tells you the truth. Chart tells you the truth media always lie same like politicians if politicians will tell us the truth we will never vote for them we'll never vote for them that's why they always lie okay i i, I should not talk about politicians okay i uh, that's all that's all it's a three three indicators easy it works when you, and you have to wait for three indicators aligned to the same direction full confirmation and for you, it's a 98% market uh, uh, direction. Okay, and remember, we don't fight with the market, we follow the market direction. Because market direction is most important. We, we, are, we don't have crystal ball, we cannot predict market, we can only follow the market. And that's enough. If market change direction here from bullish to bearish, you change direction from bullish to bearish, you will be always successful. That's enough. You don't, you don't have to predict the market. You have to just follow it. It's like stream on the river. If you follow the stream on the river, we will get to final destination. If you, if you will fight with the stream of the river, you will not get anywhere. Okay, let me show you another thing. You see this, this, this circle and this circle and the blue line. It's a downtrend direction, right? It's a downtrend direction. On the MACD, this circle and this circle, it's uptrend direction. What it means? It's a bullish divergence. It means over here, over here, I knew, I knew because of the bullish divergence, the market will go bullish. And it did go bullish because of the bullish divergences. I knew here it did more bull, it moved bullish, it came back bearish again. I knew over here the second bullish divergence. This is what's for first bullish divergence over here, right? This is the second bullish divergence multiple bullish divergences same on the rsi indicator look at it rsi indicator let me maximize it maybe uh, 
no, no, no reason to maximize it, sorry for that mess. I didn't make it nice, I didn't make it nice. Like this one, okay. Same over here, right? RSI is this point is this point, uptrend. It's a bullish divergence on RSI also. RSI told us here, it is bullish divergence. Bullish divergence here, here. On two indicators, bullish divergence, it's a confirmation. Market will move up. I knew about that. That's the good, powerful tool also. You have to know about that. You have to know because it's very, it works always. It always works. 100% it works. Bearish divergences or bullish divergences. It's the same. In this case, it's a bullish divergence. In the other case, it will be bearish divergences. Uh, maybe I can quickly show you bearish divergences. Uh, like over here, right? This is the bearish divergences. Price action is uptrend, right? Over here on the MACD, you have bearish divergences. On the MACD line, and also bearish divergences on the MACD histogram. Bearish divergences. You have bearish divergences also on the on the uh, histogram for Heikonachi. You have bearish divergences on the on the RSI uh, RSI line. You have multiple bearish divergences. It means it tells you over here. It told you over here, market will go down, and it did go down. Okay, that's that's how it works. Very simple, very easy, and uh, you have to just. Follow these few rules and you will be successful. It's not a complicated, it's not a rocket science. You don't need to have few, uh, multiple degrees or, or Oxford University to, to follow this, to follow these rules. It's just few rules. Okay, and another rule I can show you now at the same time to make it more complicated. It's a 20 and 200 moving averages you see the 20 20 always wants to go back to ma20 when ma20 far like in this case you see this rule this bar very far from yellow line it always wants to come back to ma line ma20 always even below it came back and ma20 always wants to come back to ma200 this is the a near of state when when 200 and bars at the ma200 20 200 and bars at the same all moving averages at the same place it's a narrow state this is wide state when bars moved wide they always want to come back like, like in this case last bar far from a 20 it will come back to connect to a 20 it always wants to be to connect to a 20 it doesn't like to be far because it's like magnet it's like magnet it it, it, it pulls bars back to the ma20 and that's all and the simple also ma20 downtrend it's a bearish trend when uh ma20 uptrend it's a bullish trend same with 200 it's a, if when 200 uptrend with white white line 200 uptrend market is in the bullish direction when 200 is like like now downtrend it's a bearish direction now it's this case kind of flat right when it when it when it's downtrend it's when it's a downtrend it's a bearish direction that's very simple okay that's all thank you so much if you want to learn more about it just just put comments and i will i will show you more and more details and, and more more methods but generally it's three indicators enough to be successful on the on with the trading it works for any time frame. I showed you only one hour. You can use it for five minutes. You can use it for one day. It's up to you. It always works. It works for any time frames. It works for. I'm sorry. It, 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 yeah, it makes mess, but it works for any time frames the same, the same way. That, yeah, that's whatever I put it on the charts. It, it doesn't. It cannot align with the other time frame. Okay. That's all. Thank you so much. Let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. For educational purpose, please use paper trading account. Don't use real money for educational purposes. Thank you. Thank you for watching this simple trading style video. I really appreciate it. I do publish uh, also daily updates.
weekly and monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos, and all my trainings in the uh, in the watch list, please playlist. You can go to my YouTube channel. There is the playlist and description. All links to my my trainings. Please watch it, and and you will be successful. Thank you so much, and good luck. Bye now.